bayozi munze go standukanye z'igihe cyacu muri hano banyacyo bahiro muterani aha banyarwanda mwese abahagarariye ibihugu imiryango muza mahanga hano ndahera ku banza ndabashuhuje kwanza ben ndagira ngo nshimire aba ministere bashya bamaze kutugezaho indahiro ntabwo nshidikanya ubushake bwabo ubushobozi nibindi bijyanye no gukorera igihugu abanyarwanda uko bikwiye ndagira ngo mbasezeranye kandi ko wundi abakorera igihugu yo bashatse ko rohashya imirimo iroro kagenda neza yabashatse kubiremereza nabwo biraremera bikava mu bibazo biremera cyane cyane niyo abantu bitekerezaho kurusha uko batekereza imirimo y'igihugu cyangwa aho bakwiriye kuba bakorana nabo bakorera kugira ngo twese ibintu bigende neza dutere imbere ariko nabasezeranye ko bundi ubufatanye burahari ni uh, gerero bazabiteguye gufatanya nabo basanze nabandi nabazaza iyo ni bizagenda neza aba ku buryo bw'umwe hariko barahiye umunsi bagiye uh, muri ministere eh yo buzima ministere fitura hare rukomeye rumvikana mu buzima bw'abantu ariko noneho no majyambere y'igihugu yo buzima abantu bumeze neza bashobora gukora ibyo bashinzwe bityo igihugu kikatenimbere ibi turabizi bihereye ku bintu byinshi by'amateka nibyo tugenda duhura nabyo ibyo rezo bitandukanye harimo ndetse nicyo tukirimo n'ubu ngubu kijyanye na covid 19 na bari byo byonyine hari ibindi byinshi ubu rero ndibwera ko abamaze kurahira bazadukorera imirimo ko bikwiye tugakorana nabo natwe dukore yacu tugahangana nibyo bibazo bitari bice eh kuburyo tubitsinda tugatera imbere um usibye byo rero ntari butindeho cyane nagira ngo mbonere ho uyu mwanya wo kugira ibindi mvuga bijyanye ni mibere ho igihugu cyacu bitari ibyubuzima gusa twavugaga mu kanya nabyo ariko bigira ingaruka ku buzima uburyo bundi butandukanye eh ariko 
në politik e mërër sanjë. A ho të va, a ho të ri, në a ho të gjë. A mërë gjë, që e zanë i bjën gjivë, jo vitatu. Dhe ku ka ho vuje, me një huri, kër e va në a ho gjë. Gjërëngu, mënër e humë nga një mbanzë dhe në shimire, mënë sa u e vëzë bari hanu, arava ministri, ari, arava depite, kërë mënë e kërë e gjogu që aqru, a u të avera në bandi, në të se, në bëjë vëzë vinë zë e gëzë e gjëru, të rikë më janë. Uriyo, duko meje ufatanya, kuwaka ijiho kuchachu. Ndece, ibijo tujera hu, muru kwa ufatanya no kuwaka ijiho gu. Bika dusho goresha no kufatanya na bandi. Uri inhara ya Afrika. Mwere no muraka karere dutuye mo, kubura sera zuba, kujirango tukwese, nushore kujena duhanga na niwe bazu na uguche mwere bazu, bituko garishi. Niyo mhamvu, mshako wa menye shako wa usivyo ko, tukwese dosanzu wa tuzi, Imirimo, ingabo, polisi, jiji hugu cha atru. Ari ingabari polisi, vikora, vikorwa, vikorwa, muli Mozambik, vikorwa, Central African Republic, vikorwa, South Sudan, na hand. Mwuri ya butandu kanyari vikorgwa vili vikorgwa mufatanyi na United Nations Roni vikorgwa agati hivi hugu vya atu nivi hindi vya hugu na Mozambik kwa rana niji hugu cha Mozambik the Central African Republic, the Fite, Ogurjavu Viri, Nukwarana Naroni, Nukwarana Nicho Jihugu, Jombi Miraba Nichirani. South Sudan, Nukwarana Na UN. Ibi biyose, ibi mge na abgoturi jihugu jichize nabusu. Nabusu. Dukize kubindi. Angu dukize mwuri ya gubu kungu. Aruko, mutima nubushache turachize pe. Niyo mamu dushawara guche mwuri wa zobyashu. Tukwameza gushache rumuti kwa nivija bishira. Aruko, Kajira nuruhare, nungu fati nyana vandi. Kujira ngo, duchemure, fati nye, duchemure wazo vya avu, ndece akenshi ushawara kwa wifita nye, isano ni wazo vya atu. Birchot, tuka teri namge. Ngomuri Mozambik, Na jira ngu mbivu jira hanu kukuhara wa nuwaja wa jira confusion. Muli Mozambik, dufiteyo ingavo, kuzirenga, nuwa polisi, varenga, ibi humbi viviri. Ndese jira 
بفرانزي اف بيبي نما غنتا نيج ايج ايج اشيز تكونجيريو ازينينغ وازونجيريو كوبيراكو اكفاتوا يارا موزامبيك اري بازو بينشي بياكيمتس دفاتانيجي ابيني جيوغو با موزامبيك Rini bindi biji komes lagi bos. Kuberaku aku tuara hanos, aku tuar sholat kuara hanos. Harapan di nau bapa sijé hari samim ingat bazar buaya muri saudara Afrika, nazo zifite ibu zukara muri Mozambique, anuwa sewa zifite ibu cewa kuara ramu. Ibicho dukwara ramo na vuga kwa iyo wazo tukwa biche muye bikara anjira. Ariko kubia rakuwa bo tukwa yudu hangi na wa jewi muka waka jamu bindi biche bia mozambik. Na hagu tukwa riku jara hanu hose. Na hagu bia shovoka tunafata njiji na wa mozambik. Ariko na wa wandi na wa wafiti bia wakora. Bila gara 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 kurero, abah teroris bah bah maz bah moni mazambik, bah jevi muka bah kah bah tuah kurero gara bah kah jahandi. Tuh kumvi kanya nama nama mazambik, ko tu je ko bah kuri cerana hovari honga. So ni bah tu je ukur. Ni mham tu anjere izonga. Haruku zonga botu zonjera kuvat kwa jera Mozambique jera ngo ibe kiri ha jihu guna chim ha muriya ngo num ura duha nurumia gokukoresha mura hukas na mafaranga ya mafaranga jihu gokoresha. Muri bia vicha dufite tu gavana na bandi tu rasa angira tu kavu kuresh tu nasha kuvuga nchini rasha hara baza fash hara watu gera kwa baza fash tu rateje ni watu fasha gos tu zai washi mira kandi mira kui ahu gobiari kui kuba Yarawa ichera, haruko, it's never too late to help. Zai wa shimir. Haruko na jirangu, ishi chivanza chive unzira. Kuku harabi ugu rako, harawa njirira mafaranga hasi, wakat kuhishura, harawa jizabate, na anumwe. Niwa, ndabi ufuga, niwa taribyo, ndazo kufuza, kubono wa makanya. Hari kuna jira nguvu yangu anzeli vya mungu. Tukua tanzi, wuriyo bichi dufite, dese du tanga nu buzima, kukuwa baje kurwa na na barang anzeli yahara ba nuba ba biguamu, ba nuba ngo mugiyo gicha chu, tukua tanzu buzima ba ba na ba chu, mfata nyana ba na ba Mozambik. Tunatanga na mikoro ya chumache fiti. Uwerero, ya mbashimi rivyo kuwa nubugo na avuga ngo tukwa wanje kuchara tujina ama tukwa emeranya hotu vikwara. Ndabashimi rako tukwa wikoze mga sangari vya na mga mga vya emera. Najira ngo mbanda nji na nona. Muri Central African Republic. Aguye kwa hari uvurjo bubiri, hari ukwara na na UN, hari ukwara na niji hugu gacho. Bairatro, hari na UN. Foremo wa kusudu kwa rela. 
Mori by Ratro, Nobuni Chimwen Hibia, Mozambique, Kurando. Nabio Namikoria to Kwasangi, Nava, Nyafrica, Bajenzurat. Nabio Nabugo Dutaka Chan and Gun have gone about the fascist, Eruko. Washatse gufasha wafasha. Eriko dukarana na ba Central African Republic. Kuburio viaba haya gahenge ba kavu na mahoro ndetse ne mhamvu ba shobe kujira matora yubu shize yoto tajia yo agua barajis. Wenda na nugo iriare tibiri ho. Central African Republic. Kurikiza amategeko ya UN. Ntabwo twajya kunyuranya nibyo UN dukoreramo ishaka. Ifite uburyo bwa ikora. Ntabwo nirwa mbitindaho ku binenga ariko ndavuga uko bimeze. Ariko bya Baratro byatumye byihuta ibintu bira uko ibyo nitwe tubigena iyo wigenera ukora ibintu ku byumva uko bishaka uko bona bikwiye iyo ukorera mu bandi cyangwa ari bo bakuyobora nabo bakora uko bashaka ko babone ibintu akenshi harwo biba binyuranye bitajyana twe rero twabwiye aba ingabo ziri muri iyo Kukurikiza amatege kwa ya yuwe. Hainyuma, ingabo za achu nazo tukua herejeyo, tukua za haya mabugiri za zikuamba ukurikiza ho, zikuamba ukurikiza, zikuwa na nareta ya Central African Republic. Yewira tandu kanyi. Ariko, ndi wira kwa vyuzu zanya. Ibiyo, nabiyo vimazijihe, nabiyo pijenda yifatinzira, Gusa angira gani nuburiyo bugiinsh tu tu gusa ranganya cha ni niyo chitu jeja inga wazuri muri bayratro muri Central African Republic wosibya kuzi shurwa nurguanda mishara ya bwa shira ku konte zawa hano wakaza ya sam. Ariko banasaranganya nabari muri yo ihemba kurusha uko bahembwa hano nabandi Niba muye nibishyurwa buri muntu yishyurwa amadorari 100 amwe abayo abo wishyuwe gukorera muri yo ikindi gice Gasaranganya ga hamujenzi we ukora la muri bayratur. Mwari movies. Aha, nuko bita gusaranganya rero ni. Kuko tuwa hotwe we na waturi high maintenance. Yeah, we are we are low maintenance people, low maintenance countries. We do more for less, and that's our culture. We want to continue. If you are not able to come to the house, you will be able to come to the house. You will be able to come to 
tuvuko bashatse ariko nanyira ngo mbonereho uyu mwanya ngire ibyo mvuga bibasubiza bigira abantu bari bo bose bagifite mu ruhare muri iki kibazo nzongera hashize igihe nanone niyo mpamvu nshaka kuvuga byinshi byo nabitse bimaze igihe nasubiza ndabivuga uyu munsi nzongera hashize igihe ariko ubwo rizara kwa bomba mbwira bumva ikibazo cya Kongo kirimo ibintu byinshi mu Kongo urwanda M23 FDRR Monusco International Community M Voice ibintu byose turi benshi bakuye kuba bafite ibyo dukora ari uko mvuze twese uko mbivuze uko byari bikwiye first of all it should be a shame to all these people you that we are so many, we have so much in terms of means, we claim to want to resolve the problem. It's actually simple to resolve, in my opinion, but it never gets resolved for decades. And of Cong Congolese problems, of the problems of DRC before that, Zaire, and so on and so forth. I'm just talking about the problems of the last few decades. I'm not going into 60s, I'm not going into late 50s, no. I'm just talking about the last nearly 30 years now. You would wonder, I'm sure people should be asking themselves, how can these problems that relate to Rwanda, that relate to DRC, that relate to all these groups I'm talking about, that relate to the whole region, that relate to the powerful countries that so much talk about humanitarian crisis and human rights and all kinds of things and really speak up for wanting to resolve all this. Sit with this kind of a situation and just keep massaging it and no, no, you know, blaming everybody else except them for these problems. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, what I'm saying, I've given a short list of parties concerned, countries and so on. But it has become so convenient for long that all problems are put on the shoulders heavily on the shoulders of Rwanda. Rwanda is always the culprit in all this. It's not a federal error. It's not uh, the government of Congo that should be responsible for its problems and people. It's not the UN. It's not the powerful countries. Main America, UK, France. ETC. No, it's Rwanda. It's, it's Rwanda all the time. 
and it's M23 because of Rwanda. So it still comes back to Rwanda. It's not a federal remnants of uh, people who carried out genocide here. It's not uh, the government of Congo for many reasons. Reasons being, I started by saying here that we, we don't have means, but, but we have weights. We have, don't have means, but we have weights. But we don't have means. And that's why, in comparison, Rwanda and Congo, there is more, much more, much, much more. Congo offers to these people than Rwanda. So naturally, Uh, these people must uh, trade carefully when they are dealing with the Congo's problems. They, they, they must even assist Congo to, to alleviate their, their pain by transferring the, the blame they should hold, should have, put somewhere else, and uh, the easiest place to put their blame is Rwanda. Um, you know, the you know, kuna proverb. Hapa mnajua Kiswahili? Mnaelewa? Kwa Kiswahili Shamba, shamba ya ndizi mnaelewa? Kuna migomba. na kuna majani migomba yani banana stem majani ikiwa banana leaves kwa migomba kuna migomba mifupi na migomba mirefu kwa sababu wa Afrika wanatumia sana majani ya migomba kufanya kazi nyingi mbalimbali mbali, kupika chakula nini nini wakienda kwa shamba la ndizi ile majani wanayokata ni ile ni yale yale ya migomba mifupi Ndiyo. Yeah, when they go to banana plantation, those Africans use a lot of uh, many things they use banana leaves for. The, 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 the banana leaves they cut are the banana leaves of uh, short banana stems. Ile mlefu sana wanaacha. Sasa hawa watu wanafikiria sisi ni migomba mifupi. Kwa sababu ya geography 
ni si inchi ndogo tu au resources minerals vitu vingine wale wana vingi sana sisi hatuna so they would rather go for the short lakini bwana wanajidanganya kweli sisi kwa ufupi wetu hatuna means lakini tuna ways na tuko imara hujajua hujui uzkaelewa imara tulivyo those who think they can keep picking uh, cutting our banana leaves because we are short stems boy you don't know how much you have deceived yourselves um yes they even say we we are accused of uh, stealing the wealth the minerals of congo one thing we are not and that's what makes us uh, what i have just said we are not thieves we work for what we have and what we get in fact we are where we are i think some decent progress but not yet too much we, we still have to do a lot by the way also on account of the support we get from these people who accuse us or who accept that we actually do that meaning these powerful countries they actually give us a lot of support and if they took time to scrutinize because they support other countries as well including the congo that we are accused so much for what's happening there they will find they will, or they will not find a place where we give value for their money than rwanda <laughs> they will not i can bet on this for every dollar they spend on us they support us with we will show more for it than anybody they give their money and it is deliberate it's not by accident it's who we are it's who we want to be and nobody will take it away from us but when it comes to trying to cut the banana leaves because we are short stems they can or they will discover that you also provide value for money 
meaning it will actually be costly for them. Now, let me add to that. For the FDRR and uh, the affiliate groups, Rudurunana and so on and so forth, and by the way, affiliate groups means also there are some individuals either whom we have here in prison, we are brought from outside, or others who masquerade around as the so-called the opposition, whom we have just left free to mess up themselves until uh, some point when, uh, if need be, to take care of them, take care of them. But why do you think this program, for example, of FDRA, has been there for the last nearly 30 years? Why? Because you think it's a too complicated a problem to resolve? No. I'm beginning to believe something I never believed. But I suspected, but I had no proof, and I don't want to believe it. But it's so many years that if you can't find another explanation, then you have to believe it. You can't but not believe that actually somebody, somewhere, wishes this problem to be there forever. Around it, So many things are played. One, it is maybe to check, to check these uh, stubborn troublemakers but short banana stems. It is to check them. There's always something to... So it's, it's maintained there. And then it spins around for the crimes associated with these people of our history, of our tragedy in Rwanda in 1994, the history before that, they start associating us with the very crimes of these people. It's like they exist because we are doing something wrong. In actual fact, maybe we share in the crime. We share in the crime they committed. So in other words, for the perpetrators and victims of uh, tragic history, we are actually the same. There is no difference. Isn't it the whole narrative since 1994? How we in this country are known for 
stifling freedoms of people, we are, you know, violate, we violate human rights, we, well, then sometimes when they are talking about the violating of human rights, they point to the people who are here, whom they have labeled uh, opposition leaders, who are associated with this history, that we are violating their rights. Can you imagine? The very people who are associated with genocide, well, here are some of them, many of them outside there, whom they have even uh, sometimes refused to try for their crimes because they, they can't return them to Rwanda because Rwanda's justice and human rights, and you know, if they return them to Rwanda, they will uh, be denied their, their justice, their freedom, their human rights. And then we respond to these people and say, okay, if you can give them to us, here is the evidence. You try them in your courts because you are better than us. And they still don't do that. So what does that mean? What would that mean for anybody who wants to think? And you don't want me to try them for reasons you, you are giving that whether false or true, but then how about you? How about you trying them? What's wrong with you? You mean you're questioning your own justice system as well? But on top of that, they still come and uh, point fingers at us, you know. <laughs> but uh, sometimes uh, there is uh, poetic justice that goes on. Some, some of these people who refuse to re send these people back to us, and we have been begging and showing them all the crimes, they, and they have refused, and <laughs> in some cases, these people have gone ahead and committed crimes where these people, you know, are holding them in their countries. And then, prompted by that, they quickly now send them <laughs> to us. Because there is a case where somebody was being accused and you no, know, we were asking how these people, then this killed somebody else in one of these countries outside who had refused to surrender that person to us. Killed the person, then I think another one, another case raped somebody. And then prompted by that, they start processing to send <laughs> these people to us. So the first crime of the genocide they carried out here was not bad enough. But they are reminded by somebody violating the rights of one of their citizens. This is what I'm calling uh, sometimes poetic justice. So, if for the last 28 years this problem has been there, and for the last 20 something, 22 maybe, the UN force was sent to Congo to deal with this situation. On top of the list, being to deal with FDRR and these other genocide groups. 
and there is not a single day, not a single day, that I know, maybe you do, that these forces ever fought FDRR to try and remove them. But they've been so keen to fight the notorious, or famous, I don't know, M23. That's what happened in 2012. And we warned these people, we were warning them, and saying, you are dealing with half the problem. The other half will come back to haunt all of us. This is not a military issue. This is not a problem you want to resolve by force of arms. It's largely a political problem. You need to attend to you and maybe help the Congolese government to address this problem. They ignored us. Fine. Ten years after that, the problem has come to haunt all of us. But of course, the easy way, again, they have, is blame Rwanda for it. That solves the problem. That's where we are now. But why wasn't this problem resolved for the last 10 years, honestly? Why wasn't it? Those M23, those who fled and came to Rwanda, we put them, we cantoned them in a camp in the former chief in, in, sorry? In Ngoma, former Chibungu. We disarmed them, we gave arms back to Congo. They took the arms. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about facts here, I'm not. Now. Processes started of you know, talking to these people, how do we, what do we do with them, where do we do that? and we always gave access to the officials from Congo to go and talk to these people, every time. They came here like 20 times. The last I heard of was when they said they, they, they wanted the representatives of these people and others, the, the, the majority of them were, went to Uganda is there was a bigger group, and they said they wanted to talk to them, to their representatives, those groups here and those groups in Uganda. They took them to Congo, to Kinshasa actually, supposedly to talk to them and resolve their problems. These people they took spent months in a hotel where they put them. And for those months, not a single government official visited them or came to talk to them. Until they decided to, I don't know whether to escape or do what, and left. Now, the problem comes back to be Rwanda's problem. When they started fighting, don't ask me how or where they came from, but we have had a moment to discuss this openly in meetings of heads of state in Nairobi, and it was clearly demonstrated to the Congolese leaders what had been going on. And the only thing they kept telling us was, no, 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 these people must go back where they came from. And then we asked them, where did they come from? <laughs> or, or, or what time do you mean? 
Because even if you assume that they came from here, where did they come from when they came here? And I asked one simple question in the meeting. I said, we would be wasting our time if we do not answer this question and we continue the discussing this issue. I said, one simple question. Are these people we are dealing with, or having to deal with, Congolese, or Rwandese, or Ugandans? Fortunately, the Congolese leaders answered that they are actually Congolese. Then I said, okay, now we can have a conversation. Because my impression at first was that you were saying that these are Rwandese because they speak Kenya Rwanda. Because they are wonderful, I hear some people call them that, but they are Congolese. These are citizens of Congo. They have their ancestral homes and things in Congo, not here. Here they are refugees. We have over 80,000 of them as refugees in the camps. So, how do we deal with this issue? How does this issue become Rwanda's issue? Just being associated for convenience. And I can see those translators, I think some people have, uh, I want them to hear this. I can see some people having problems of uh, these headphones. Can you please sort out that problem? Maybe there are those who don't want to hear. That's a different issue. But, <laughs> but I, I want those who want to hear to be able to, to, uh, to, to listen to me, to be able to do so, so sort out their problems, please. Nonetheless, I will continue. For those who want to hear and for those who don't want to hear. That's what we always do. There are many people we talk to knowing that they are not listening, but you have to do a duty of, of letting them know so that there is no excuse about. Uh, so. This problem, in my view, is not too difficult to address, but you have to do the right thing. I want to remind people that they have to think about how to address the FDR problem. It's been there for too long. Forget about stories being created around it. They say, no, they, they are no longer there. They came to Rwanda, and then we sent them back. And Yeah, but on record also of the UN, there are those who have been repatriated over time, and we receive them and reintegrate them. That's why there is that uh, center, uh, is it in Motobo? They are on record. The records are there, very clear. So that problem has to be looked at. The other problem is the so-called M23 or other groups. By the way, there are over 100 groups, rebel groups. Did you know that in Eastern Congo? armed fighting for all kinds of things. I don't know some of them. So it, 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 they can't already be existing because of Rwanda. 
Certainly not. If it was because of Rwanda, maybe they would be together. So that problem needs to be addressed in their right context. And those problems are Congolese problems. They are not Rwanda's problems. But we can help because we are interested in a stable neighbor. Peace in Congo or Eastern Congo is peace for us. So we can't be questioned about or our desire to have a peaceful country and region cannot be questioned, honestly. We can't. Even for those who accuse us of stealing minerals, if, if that were to be true, I think we can do better still by having peace. Yes. Because when you have peace, then you don't even need to steal. You would actually have, uh, you know. You know, I was talking to some very senior people recently from somewhere who are saying, you know, the Congolese are saying we we steal their quarter, we steal their gold, and then I asked them one question. There was many, many readers. I said, uh, there is something I know. Some people come from Congo, whether they smuggle or go through the right channels, they, they bring minerals and But the, the, most of it goes through here, does not stay here. It goes to Dubai, goes to Brussels, goes to Tel Aviv, goes to Russia, it used to go to Russia, I don't know whether it still goes there. It goes everywhere. So I was asking them, I said, are you on the list of those who are stealing minerals of Congo? Because these things, they end up with you. For, for us, we are, we are now, they go through our country. But they are accusing us of stealing Congo's minerals. How about the destination? Why don't you talk about it? And, and if we, we actually deployed everything, every effort, and stopped this thing flowing, it would, the accusation would be even worse. Yeah, they would be seeing no, no, no more gold coming through here. Going to them, then they say, uh -huh, these people, they are causing problems. So what, what are we supposed to do, honestly? And then uh, there is uh, this famous uh, thing that has, you know, the, 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 I've heard of a hate speech I was saying some of the things that uh, need to be paid attention to. One of them, the hate speech that goes on from Eastern Congo to the Western end. And then recently, some very powerful people who have some good ideas of how to resolve the problem started saying, hate speech must be stopped on both sides. <laughs> Does anyone understand what that means? 
well, uh, for me, I didn't, which both sides. So there is hate speech in Congo and there is hate speech in Rwanda. This is what they are trying to say. Has it been going on? Have you been involved in hate speech, you people? <laughs> you know, and, and that these are people supposed to be helping to resolve the problem. So they must give part of the blame to Congo, and another part must be carried by Rwanda, even if both of us are not, have not been doing the same thing. So I'm saying it is simple to resolve because all it needs is just a, avoiding being neither here nor there. You have to address the problem as it is. You have to deal with the facts. You have to deal with evidence. You have to deal with the right thing to do. As for how the, our name will keep coming up, which I can't prevent one way or the other, our name will always come up. Not because we have solicited or created or in any way, shape or form, war to happen. We never ask for war at all. We don't create grounds for conflict, not at all. We are interested in the rebuilding and the building and the building until we are where we want to be. We, 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 are not, we know what war means. I, I, I have had some people, you know, interviews and FT in London or France went Catherine, France or Tevez Seng or something like that. And somebody saying, I don't rule out a war with Rwanda. You know, uh, when I used to talk to this person who keeps saying this, I used to advise or humbly tell him that we are actually tired of war, we need to be working together and creating peace between our two countries. And uh, because if you are looking for somebody who knows a thing about war, you come to me, please. I know something about it. And I know how bad it is. And, and by that, I know how you cannot have anything better than peace. So this problem can be resolved. If, uh, if one country headed for elections uh, next year is not trying to create uh, grounds for an emergency so that elections don't take place, well, not that he, he, not that he won the first elections, as we know, so if he's trying to find another way of having the next election is postponed, then uh, I would rather he uses uh, he use the other excuses, not not us, because we, I don't think we. 
I think we have really a lot of problems of our own. We don't need to add other people's problems. Uh, but what is surprising is that I've never, you will help me to try and to, to understand that. I don't know how it comes that everybody, the opposition, the, what, the, the, I think putting the blame on Rwanda, which the whole world seems to buys them votes. Why, why should having problems with Rwanda earn votes for people? I see politics heating up in, in DRC and everyone who has something to say whether it is uh, whoever, just keep saying, oh, Rwanda has invaded, Rwanda has invaded. Since when? And if you think also that we, we have, or that we are there, even if I were to believe it, I would still proceed with asking myself a question. I say, why? Why would Rwanda be in Congo? Maybe you would find an answer. Because there is a possibility that can take us there. That means, dear, that's what you are saying. For example, let me say like this last time when, uh, you remember in 2019 when uh, FDR invaded and attacked Chiniji and nearly shut down that place where tourists go. And by the way, we started seeing some uh, messages, uh, don't go to, to, to the northern part of uh, Rwanda, there is insecurity from all over the world. Maybe this is what some people actually want. So we cleaned up that mess, and then uh, this year, first half and mid, you remember what went on, uh, the bombings that took place, uh, being fired from across with heavy artillery into that place. And then, so that is a very attractive to, for us to, to actually cross the border. There's no doubt about it. I've been, uh, you know, we asked uh, DRC several times. I asked uh, the president to allow us to work with their people to actually deal with the FDRR and they refused. So I kept asking why they would refuse. I, said, I told them, just be with us, we'll do the work of dealing with them. Little did I know they were, they wanted to preserve them. Uh, so, and, but in the end, uh, later on in these arguments, I said, uh, when they started firing across our, our border, I told him that uh, that is enough invitation. I told the president of Congo. But while initially I, I, I was seeking invitation and to work with them to deal with our problem, actually firing artillery across the border into our territory is sufficient invitation. That statement still stands. If there is ever, any, we have been keeping quiet about some things, you know, violations, and, and again, the, when you see the statements everywhere saying, you know, uh, the, 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 the territorial integrity 
of Congo must be respected. I totally agree. But so must Rwanda's territorial integrity be respected. <laughs> and uh, respecting territorial integrity is not just by a soldier putting foot on the ground on that territory. It's what you send to the other territory as well, even standing on your own. If you fired artillery shells across the border into Rwanda, while you are in the Congo, you have violated the territorial integrity of Rwanda. That's the, that's the interpretation. I don't know of any other interpretation. So, I gave you more than you wanted or expected, but uh, I thought I needed to really do this. Um, so be clear about it. When you see things happening, you, you just know. First of all, we are not going to engage in skirmishes that could have been avoided. We are not going to violate anybody's uh, sovereignty or territorial integrity. will be respected, but we so much demand that that happens in our case as well. And um, so people can, along the border, can go to bed at night knowing they have security for them to sleep all night. <laughs> Short of that, we'll make somebody else spend sleepless nights. Thank you very much.